So I have very kindly been sent this ball cleaning kit um, from 8balldirect.com and this product is called the Whizzer. Now traditionally I've always cleaned my pool balls by hand um, just with a cloth and some cleaning solution and does a great job, got no problem with it at all but it obviously does take quite a while um, going through all 15 balls um, and the cue ball by hand cleaning and buffing them up. It's quite a laborious job. I've looked in the past at the big ball cleaning machines that you can get which look amazing um, but they're upwards of £300 which is a lot of money um, for someone to have at home. Maybe if you've got a pool hall or a snooker hall and you need to clean a lot of balls regularly then that's a good investment but for me that's always been far too steep. So this product sort of comes in between these two things. So the way this works is um, fairly straightforward. You have a um, piece of cloth, um, microfiber cloth here, um, that you place some balls on and you apply some clean and shine professional ball cleaner, which comes as part of this kit. There's a 125 ml bottle here. You don't need a lot. You spray a small amount into the balls. I'm, I'm not going to demonstrate it here on the table. I'll do that in a minute um, on a different surface. Um, and then you place those balls into this um, container here. Now, if you have a look at this, this has got a, a polishing pad on the bottom, wall pad on the bottom here. Um, so you place, you can place up to about four or five balls in there at any one time. And then you have another pad which has a drill attachment. So to do this, you need a cordless drill that obviously doesn't come as part of the kit. Place this on the cordless drill and then place this in here. And this then spins around for about 30 to 60 seconds and gives you a nice polish on the ball. So I'll demonstrate that shortly. Um, the container itself has got this sort of... Um, rubber feet to try and stop it slipping around when you place it on the surface um, and this um, you can purchase replacement pads for this so these are just velcro pads that attach to this polishing kit sort of thing you'd find on a car uh, buffer something like that so let's have a little look at how it works so as I said I wouldn't do this on your table just because you're using a liquid um, so I've moved away to a different surface here got a few balls um, give you clean and shine a bit of a shake and then just a very small amount so just get a little bit on each ball you don't need tons of it um, and then place the balls into the container and then it's just a case of placing this into your drill And then the feet on this will hold this sturdy so we can just concentrate on holding the top of this. And then we're going to do about sort of 30 to 60 seconds. You don't need to press too hard. You want the balls to be able to turn under there. If you push down too hard, they're going to jam themselves in. So we want them to be able to spin under there. And you can hear the balls sort of rolling around underneath that. Okay, let's have a look to make sure everything's come off there. Take those out and have a little look. Now, it's probably quite difficult to see on camera, but visually these are straight away, you can see a lot shinier um, than they were before. Um, there's no marks. There were a couple of little black spots on these balls before, which seem to have gone, which is good. Obviously, if you've got really, um, really bad marks and things on there, you might need to give them a little bit more of a polish to get anything really stubborn off before doing this. But as long as the balls are in a reasonable condition, 
then you're going to get a pretty good finish. There's a couple of little spots still left there that might need a little bit of extra work beforehand and then you can put them back through again. So overall, I'd say that's done a pretty good job. Um, balls don't feel sticky, which is which is good. I do find um, when I use the the Aramith um, cleaning solution and do these by hand, balls can feel a little bit tacky sometimes, especially if you haven't polished them up well enough. Um, and this is quite good in not getting that sort of sense with these. Um, you've still got to do a few at a time, so but you can see a lot quicker than doing them all individually by hand. So fairly impressed with those results. Um, keeping the balls clean is important because it's going to reduce things like kicks. They're going to play a lot better and you'll notice a difference on the table. Um, so if, if it's something you keep on top of as well and do fairly regularly, you can see this is going to last a um, fairly long time. You're not using huge quantities of this. Um, you can buy bigger bottles as well. Um, I was also sent um, a larger bottle, so you can buy a 500 ml bottle there if it's, you know, if you're doing this on a, a larger scale, maybe at a club where you're using a lot more solution, you can buy more personal use, then the bottle that comes with the, the kit is probably more than enough. So in summary, I think this is a good product. It's, it's well made, it's sturdy, and there's no doubt that um, it leaves you with shiny, clean pool balls. Um, it's well proven that um, clean pool balls are going to give you better response between the balls, better ball speed and reduced kicks. So there's a no-brainer to actually making sure that you've got clean pool balls. The Clean and Shine product itself is good. Um, as I said earlier in the video, it doesn't leave the balls sticky or tacky in any way, which is, which is good. Um, you want them to be nice and shiny, and clean but dry you don't want any tackiness to them so quite impressed with that product itself the the price at 49.99 you could argue is a little on the high side and i can imagine people will say well i could make this myself um, the component parts are all fairly easy to get hold of which is true and to be honest i've looked in the past myself there's loads of videos on youtube about making your own ball cleaner and and the rest of it it's you know it's not that difficult but at the end of the day, how many of us can be bothered to do that? I've watched those things, but I've never got around to it. It's whether you can be bothered to put the effort into doing that yourself. And realistically, when you buy all of the parts, you're not going to save yourself a huge amount of money. So it's probably worth buying something that's ready made, already done, um, good quality in the way that it's made. Um, and for, for a few extra quid, you're getting something that's that's ready to go. As I said as well, there's absolutely nothing wrong with cleaning the balls by hand. Um, you could use the Clean and Shine product just on its own, um, which is good. There are other products available for that sort of thing as well. But at the end of the day, it's, that's a laborious, long task. And this certainly makes that a lot quicker. You can do the whole set of balls in just a couple of minutes. And I think the fact that you can do that means that I personally will use this more often. And, and there's that's got to be a, a bonus to keep the balls clean regularly rather than a task that you put off because it takes so long. Um, how long the the buffer pads last and how often you need to change those, I can't really tell. I've only used this a couple of times um, for demonstration purposes. But as I said, they're removable and fairly easy to replace, so that that's good. So I think overall, this is a good product, well made, um, and definitely something that I can see myself using quite regularly. <laughs> If you want to see more practice routines and pool tutorials, then please remember to subscribe. And if you're interested in any of the equipment I use in this video, then there are links in the description below.